Hey guys, welcome to Apex. This is Nutan here, and today I will be discussing about an Android launcher, uh, which is quite different from most of the other launchers. So, uh, do you remember those, uh, you know, Windows phones wherein it had a square tile interface, and it was quite different from Android, and it had a very refreshing look to it. So uh, now it's kind of boring. Most of the phones are with Android, and we don't have Windows phones anymore. The kind of uh, looks that it used, to, it used to have, the refreshing looks, that is not there anymore. So now it's all about Android. Android and it's all about Android launchers right so uh, most of the Android launchers are as uh, similar as they look right now this is a launcher which is quite different from these Android launchers which is there in the uh, uh, Play Store right now and this has the exact look and feel of your Windows phone and you will definitely be able to get something refreshing right now so uh, I want to show you this uh, application this this launcher this is called square one launcher 3 and uh, this has been there in the Play Store for quite some time you know a lot of people have already reviewed it but this is something which i found really attractive and i thought you know i must show you guys about this particular launcher so let's get into it this is one of the best windows style launchers available in the play store today nowadays we see a lot of launchers which have more or less the same look and feel with different functionalities but this launcher is completely different from what others offer. You will certainly feel refreshing using this launcher. Let's take a look at what it offers. The look and feel in itself is so beautiful. I just don't feel like taking my eyes off of it. If you love looking at your phone's display and relish, then this is the one for you. Especially on AMOLED screen, these styles looks amazing. If you want to have Windows Phone-like experience, then you can just set horizontal scrolling. If you prefer having multiple pages, then you can set it as well. I personally prefer a single page vertical scrolling wherein I can fit most of the applications within just one scroll. You just press and hold the tile and you get an option to change the dimensions of the tile. You can change it from smallest to the largest on the screen. Speaking of customization, you have plethora of options. Let's take a look at few of them. On home screen, you get a tile by default which randomly displays your pictures from the gallery. This feature is just icing on the cake. This is not a gallery app but it's just a display tile. You can select the folder from which you would want the pictures to be displayed. When you press home option, you get a list of things you can customize. You can change the tile color and the default icon size which is integrated into the tile. You can even change the text size displayed on the tile. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the option to create a cube on your home screen which works like a home screen in itself. Look at this, isn't this cool? And yeah, you have an option to create a tile group as well. The app drawer is also customizable. It's a smart app drawer which picks the applications based on your usage and shows it on top so that you don't have to key in to search your preferred applications. Of course, you can always have those applications on your home screen in itself. But yeah, if you don't want to clutter your home screen with too many tiles, this smart app order feature comes in handy. You know what is the best part about this launcher? You can add a widget on home screen which appears to be just another beautiful looking tile. There are a few default widgets offered by the launcher and hear me out, you can place all the other Android widgets you have on your phone. We have an option to create a shortcut on the home page. Let's say you need a direct shortcut to someone's contact on WhatsApp, you can have it on your screen which allows you to directly reach the contact rather than searching on your chat list. Do note that this launcher offers tablet mode as well. These are some of the major features this launcher offers. The more you dig in, the more options you will find. It's kind of never ending. I spent some time to get everything in place as per my preferences and once it was good to go, I never felt bored of it in the last couple of weeks since I started using it. I'm sure you will love it and you must consider trying it out. So what do you think about this launcher? Please do let me know in the comment section below and please do hit the like button if you like this video and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.